Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Last night, Amber and I were discussing kind of last minute uh, preparations for the idea of COVID-19 coming into our home. While we're trying to keep it out, we also want to prepare for the possibility that it does get in here. And what we were doing to uh, work through that was we were kind of brainstorming and pre-visualizing ourselves being ill and thinking about anything that we you know, have wanted in the past that maybe we didn't have, things that helped us in the past when we were, when we were sick, and thinking about what the illness will be like. It's an ammonia-like illness with a lot of coughing. And we were using that kind of visualization to kind of figure out what things we may want that we don't already have. One thing in particular that we realized we did not have, and I just ordered one this morning, and I'd recommend if you guys have a similar issue to us, you might want to consider the same, is a humidifier. Where we live, the air is quite dry at the moment, and if you're coughing a lot, it's good to have humidity in the air. We bought a warming humidifier as opposed to an ultrasonic humidifier. I prefer that so that it's not throwing the minerals or whatever else is in your water up in the air too like an ultrasonic humidifier can the evaporative ones are just uh, you know uh, steaming off the water uh, also the warmth I, th I think is good if you want to just get that warm uh, humid air into your your um breathing airways. In addition to that, there's all sorts of other things, and I'm not going to go into a lot of specifics because I think it's unique to everyone. You know, one thing for me, and I got them right here next to me, is whenever I've been sick in the past, uh, something like this is you know, they're not a nutritional powerhouse. It's just like, you know, a light salty cracker. But something like that is something that, you know, when you're starting to eat again, you want something light, you don't want to get, you know, your stomach upset or anything like that. That's something I made sure I bought a bunch of those. I don't usually stock those because again, you know, there's not a lot of nutrition and, you know, salt crackers. But I, I bought a bunch of those ahead of kind of thinking about like where I'm going to be if I'm feeling sick, where I'm going to be if I'm recovering. Uh, all sorts of other things. Like right here, uh, we have a bunch of cough drops ready to go. While uh, the uh, coughing during a, a pneumonia is helpful, you want to get a lot of that fluid out of your lungs. If it gets out of hand, you want to have some way of kind of controlling that so that you're not, you're, you're not tearing your lungs apart, coughing too much. So I'd encourage you guys to do that. I mean, I could go through all the things that you know, we are thinking about, but it's really unique to the individual. What will you need if you or your family member gets sick? Put yourself in that situation. You're lying in your bed. You don't have the energy to get up. You certainly don't have the energy to run out and go to the store. And the stores may not even be open. What are the things that you'll wish that you had within arm's reach to help you through that process so you can get back on your feet and be there for your family? And you, the same for any of your family members. What are the things that you'll wish that you had to care for them, to you know, comfort them, to get them through it so they can get back on their feet as well? I have a bunch of links uh, below of different things that I've been picking up kind of last minute that you guys might consider. Uh, and uh, all I can say is good luck. You know, this is going to rip through the United States. I The United States government is doing an abysmally bad job at managing this. It's really a, a demonstration of here in the U.S. we always talk about being number one at everything but we are not number one at this. This is going really poorly. It's going to get worse. Um, I mean you can say that I'm being unpatriotic by saying that but it's just reality and you can't fix a problem until you realize that the problem's there and acknowledge it and we've got a really bad system in this country. It's really it's going to, it's failing all of us. It's going to continue to fail us through the rest of this crisis. It's going to be a rough road for Americans. Uh, so all I can say is good luck. Prepare to stand on your own during this because that's kind of how I think a lot of us are going to have to deal with this and uh, do the best you can. But pre-visualize now so that you're not in, painted into that corner later on and you're thinking to yourself, man, you know, if only I had had X, Y, or Z. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.